Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Jack Massey. He's had 22 fights, 20 wins, two defeats, and um, 11 wins by knockout. Um, thank you for coming on. No, thank you for inviting me on, mate. Appreciate it. Um, my Love first question for you is, um, how did you first start boxing? Um, started boxing at the age of 11, 12, and started a, a small amateur boxing club down the road from where I was from, where I was born, Buxton, ABC. Um, I was there for about three years, and I moved on to um, a gym in Manchester called Northside ABC, which had, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, good pros and, and, and amateurs. Um Started winning national titles, ABAs, junior ABAs three times, CYPs three times, um, and then went on to win the senior ABAs and beat Billum Smith in the finals and then turned over professional. It'll be 10 years this year. Mm -hmm. so, so, so you made your debut in uh, 2013 then? 2013, that's right, yeah. And I, I do believe you got a stoppage win, didn't you? Yes, it's Jody Meikle, um, back at Bolton, uh, the Macron Stadium. Isn't that the football stadium? Yeah, it's got like a a bit on the side, like a what would you call it, like a, a big conference room or whatever you'd call mm. it. Um, next to it, yeah, but I've had a few fights there. Is that Actually, one of your the, favourite uh, venues that you fought at? It's it's one of them, yeah, because I've had quite a few fights there. I won I won the IBO. Um, world title there as well, uh, so it's good to go back there and fight for a title there after you know having a lot of uh, a few fights there in, in, in the early days of my uh, career. So, yeah, it's, it's one of the favorites, yeah. What, what, so, would you say your favorite arena was Manchester Arena? Yeah, definitely Manchester Arena, yeah. Mm. It was uh, you know, it's just, just down the road, I always want to fight there. You know, watching the lights of crawlers and 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 stuff, and being on the so undercard. So was that a dream for you to fight at Manchester Arena? Yeah, definitely a big dream, especially in front of a big crowd as well. Because this time, mm -hmm. you know, I fought there previously, but being like a floater, live floater, and stuff like that, and it really early on. But fighting this time when it was pretty much full, it was uh, yeah, it was a big, big mm -hmm. tick off the list. And you stepped up to heavyweight um, against um Joseph Parker, so. I know the result could have been better for you, but, mate, everyone expected you to get, no offence, people thought you were going to get stopped, <laughs> but all the time I was no, like, nah, he's not, he's not going to get stopped. And you, you you held your own, and I, I didn't think you did enough to win, but I thought you nicked the, I think I gave you three rounds. Yeah, that's right. So, a lot, yeah, like you say, a lot of people was writing me off, giving it four to six rounds. Um, but, you know, it, it was a win-win fight. I um, think I made a good account of myself. You know, it was, uh, like you say, didn't do enough to win the fight. Started putting it on him a little bit more towards the back end of the fight, but it was a bit too late um, by then. But, yeah, he, he won the fight. But, you know, big step up. I, you know, free stone on me. Um, it was never in my interest to move up to to heavyweight. Uh, at the time, we just we just got the phone call and 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 took the took the fight as there was nothing else and everything was a bit up in the air at the at the time. So, you know, it, it was a win win fight. We'll drop back down to cruiserweight now and uh, and sweep up. Oh, so is your plan to drop back to cruiserweight then? Yeah, definitely, mate. Definitely mm -hmm. back down to cruiserweight. So, so, do you think like you want to be in the mix with uh, Bill and Smith, the likes of React Paul again because? Do you want that rematch with um React Paul? Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Um, that'd be nice. He's uh not sure if he'll take it though, because he did see me after the fight and said no one's gonna fight it now. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, them them sort of fights. Like I'll be going to I'll be going to the fight this Saturday. Uh, sitting ringside, keep, keeping a close eye on a Coley. So that'll be another good one. So, so yeah, what good... month? Because you fought in January. What month January. are you trying to get back out in the ring? Um, It's a tough one because my missus, she's pregnant. She's expecting early in June. So 
it's a tough one to call there. Um, might struggle to squeeze one in before it. Mm-hmm. So it might be afterwards. Maybe uh, July. Or maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe July. Yeah. Oh, congratulations on that, by the way, mate. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. And, um, Thank you very much. Yes. So you fought Reactport as well. Unfortunately, um, you lost that one as well. Was that? Because yeah. I, I remember that I watched that fight. Um, I think I watched, I rewatched it the other day, and yeah, there's no way like it was unanimous. I, I had it quite close. No, it was an iffy decision. Um, bit controversial. You know, there, there was there was no knockdown in the fight. Um, one of the judges was way out. It was uh, yeah, it was a bit of a thingy one, but you move on. Um. You know, it's, it was a good fight to have in the tank, and and we move on to uh, on to bigger things. Have I heard that um, Reactpool might fight a Kobe? Yeah, it's on the grapevine, isn't it? Um, possibly going to happen. Um, that's if a caller doesn't decide to move up to heavyweight. I'm not too sure, but we'll uh, we'll we'll see what happens with that. But do you, so you want to be in around them, so you want to be like pushing on for a world title. Yeah, like, definitely. Please. Definitely, 100%. So do you think by the end of the year, next time we do this, I reckon you'll have um, a world title wrap on your shoulder? Definitely, mate. Definitely. That's what we're after. Yes, mate. <laughs> so how, how many weeks, So how long was your training camp? How, how long do you normally get notice for? Well, the last one was only six weeks. Um, it was only six weeks' notice, but Joseph Parker only had six weeks' notice as well. Um, so that was six weeks, but it's usually always try and stay six weeks fit for a fight just in case you do get these these call ups. But usually it's around 10, 10, 10 weeks on average, I'd say. Mm-hmm. You want a good, it's good 10 week to 12 week camp. Am I right? And was that? Did you did you box at the Tottenham Stadium as well? No, no, I don't think no. Oh, I must have been thinking of someone else. No, because it was one of Kev Marine's fighters. Um, I'm trying to think of what that'll be. Uh, I think it might have been Gomez. Possibly. possibly. Might have been. Sorry, I got confused. He's, he's fighting this weekend, isn't he? He's fighting. Oh Saturday. yeah, he's fighting the. For... English title. Yeah, be a good fight. So so what title did you say you won again? Because any 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 world title. Um you know, we'll see what see what's there for the taking. If, no, if but you said that me. you won one. What one was oh, it? Oh one. So I got the the IBO world title and the IBF European. And who did you beat um for that title? That was Bill Al Lagoon. Oh yeah, that was in um twenty twenty one. That's right, mate. Yeah. Did he? Because you got the stoppage against him as well. Um, were you happy with your performance? Was that one of your best performances? Would you say? Um, couldn't say it was one of the best because it was an early. I think it was. Can't remember what round it was. It might have been fourth round. Um, can't remember now. But yeah, it was a good performance because he's he he'd never been stopped. Um. So it was nice to have that on the record. You know, he, he was a, he was a good fighter, but yeah, it was it was, a, it was good, good solid performance. What fight um have you liked gone out after the ring and you were like you were really pleased with your performance? Um, I think last the last one I was I was pretty pleased with the performance. Um, you know, proving everyone wrong, all all the people saying that. So, so after the fight, were you not gutted or? Do you know what I wasn't? It was, it was, it was almost a win in itself. You know, he's, he's a, it's a big, big step up. You know, fighting a heavyweight with ten ounce gloves. I've, I've sparred heavyweights in the past, but it's a different ball game. Ten ounce gloves, and you're in there and they try to take your head off. And you if, know, it's a, if it's you a big... won that fight, uh, would you, would you have stuck at heavyweight? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's where the uh, you know, listen, that's where the that's where the big money is, isn't it? You know, we could have had another crack except so, someone else. I'm I'm sure um, even if you 
stuck at heavyweight. I know you're planning on going to cruiserweight, but I still think if you did fight at heavyweight, there'll be still good fights uh, for you up at heavyweight. Yeah, definitely. If, if if we had the time, if we had a bit more time, say, you know, six to eight months to prepare, you know, put a little bit of weight on what you do and get used to carrying that, that weight, then it would uh, it would make more sense. How but, many um, more fights are you trying to have this year? Like two? or Probably two more this year. Two did, more this did year. Did you want to fight 12 rounders, 10 rounds? Yeah, that's it. Two more. So we're looking for summertime and then probably back end of the year. That's it. End of November, December. What, what gym do you train out of? So I've just... Recently moved gym, so I'm, I'm now boxing with uh, Joe Gallagher. Oh, yes. Yeah, I saw so that, with, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so I'm with Gallagher now. Um, Yeah, so it's it, it's good. I've been there for three weeks now, you know, trying it out. And it's it's going good. I'm loving it. Great, that's great. Good because great he's, in the gym. That's good because you've got lo- loads of other fighters as well as you doing well. You've got... I think Natasha Jonas is world champion. Yeah. Mark Charlie Evans Edwards. got the British and Commonwealth. Um, yeah. Paul Butler came up short for the world uh, for yeah. all the titles, but he he, yeah. he did good. And um, yeah. there's there's others: Marcus Morrison, Clark Smith, and uh, those are the ones at the top of my yeah. head. Charlie Edwards. There's a few, mate. Yeah. So it's it's good. And and Joe. It's a good. He's, it's a good uh, gym, isn't it? Yeah, and Joe. He's he's no one. You know, I don't think there's anyone as experienced as Joe in 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 Britain when it comes down to uh, to trainers. You know, the amount of champions he's had over the years, it's uh, he's he's a phenomenal trainer. That's a good move for you because um, I'm because I'm sure you'll be winning uh, titles with him, and that's good. But uh, definitely, were you trained with um Charlie Schofield uh, before? Yeah, so. It was I was with Robert Rimmer first, and then um, you know things went a bit finger him. He's, he's he's where he is. You know things were going on outside the ring. Won't go into it too much. And then the gym got left to Charlie, and Charlie took over. Um, and it wasn't you know Charlie had a go at it. He he was in my corner for that last fight. He's done a couple of the other lads' corners and. Uh, you know, it, it it wasn't really for him for him. Um and then, you know, decided to have a little look somewhere else and uh you know, went down to Joe's and uh and here I am. That's that's very good. So you've been signed with him for three weeks? I've yeah, I've been going down, you know, trying it out for a couple of weeks and then uh What's it like training with him? It's great, mate. You know the the knowledge and the and the experience. You know, hearing the stories of, you know, the, the days of you know your Crullers and your Smiths and your and your Quigs and stuff like that. And uh, it's 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 just he's just very very knowledgeable at you know boxing. He loves boxing. He's all about boxing, and uh, it's good, mate. I enjoy it. How long have you been? Because you're signed with uh, Kevin Marine, aren't you? Kevin Ree's manager, yes, yeah. Oh, he's your manager, right. sorry. And, yes. Um, so has he been managing you for your whole career, or not whole career? No. So I started off with Steve Wood, um, and then I went over to MTK, and then they sort of went. Oh and, yeah, they uh, kind of fell apart. Uh, yeah. Last year. And then I went over to. I've been with Kevin. Been with Kevin. Uh, I want to say four years now. Possibly, the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Not too sure. Um, he puts on oh. good shows, doesn't he? Yeah, very good, very good, and he's. Um, I think he's 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 the best manager out there when it comes to looking after your fighters and getting the best. You know, yeah, because uh, quite a few of uh, his fighters are now fighting on the TV, and he's yeah, he, he he's so, doing well, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing his well. Fighters. You've got Gomez on Saturday and uh, Callum Simpson also. Oh, Callum Simpson's a beast. Yeah, he's a good fighter, isn't he? Very good fighter. Yeah. He's it, uh, yeah, he's very good. What well, is he middleweight? Yeah, he's middle. I think he's middleweight. Yeah, yeah. Mm, Top of my head. He won yeah, the a... um the central area and um mm. what fashion he did it in as well. Yeah, 
he's, no uh, yeah, he's, he's one up of... Ben Riding. He's a tough lad. He is. Yeah, he he's is. one of my favourite prospects at the minute. He's uh, he's very yeah. good. So, so we see. Do you know if Callum signed with uh, Sky? Yeah, I think he's just signed with Boxer. Yeah, so he, he'll be on on the Boxer show. Who's your promoter, or do you not have one? So I'm a free agent at the minute. Um, free agent at the minute, so. You never we'll know. That. I'm sure Sky will be knocking on your door very soon for a contract after your your performance against Par- yeah. Parker, because that was a great effort and should be proud of that. Yeah, definitely. We'll see where Even things take us, mate. You, you would have li- liked the win, but I'm sure, you know. Did you... Did Because you, he's uh, fought the likes of um, AJ, Joyce... Were you looking at those sort of fights to see what you could have, or? Yeah, I was watching, obviously watching his fights. You know, try to pick up little things. Um, but you know, our game plan was to sort of, you know, get on my toes and not not mix it with him. Um, you know, Joyce was sort of funny on him most of the fight. Um, similar to AJ as well. We wasn't looking to push forward. We were looking to. You know, pickpocket the fight and nick it on points, box and move. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was quite a funny one. He was, he was sort of. I was expecting him to come forward a little bit more because he is. You know, he had free stone on me, and he's a lot heavier and he's heavy-handed. And do, are you ever like? Do he, you ever get nervous before like your fights? All the time, all the time. Yeah, if someone says they don't get nervous, they're lying. Um, but it's it's what you do with those nerves, you know. Some people it's it's make or break, but you need to realise that nerves it's to make you more aware, make you more alert, and it gets that adrenaline going, so you can't feel, you know, punches as much, and uh, mm-hmm. just makes you more more switched on. So, f- I'm. Who, what's your prediction for um, if if you want to say uh for the uh, the Akoli fight um. Oh, who's he fighting again? David, David Light. Light. David Light, yeah. He, I think Akoli will beat him um, pretty convincingly. Because yeah, I don't think, I, I don't I think he's got I haven't seen um, David Light fight. Is he good? He's okay. I don't think he's uh, anywhere near Akoli's level. I, I think he's um he's a mandatory or something. Yeah, I don't think he's anywhere near Akoli's level, but I don't think it'll be a tough night for Akoli. Are you, are you in the ranks? Because uh, on box rec, it still has ranked you as a heavyweight. I'm still in the heavyweight ranks, yeah. I think so. I've not looked for a while now. Um, do, hopefully they put you like in the world title picture, like mandatory, just or just put you in the position in line for a title, or just hopefully, I'm sure by the end... Uh, is your plan by the end of the year to have a world title? Possibly, mate. Yeah, we'll see how things things pan out. But yeah, possibly, we'll, mm-hmm. uh, we'll take take it fight by fight. But, yeah. um we're after. That's all we're after at the minute. Big, big, big fights and big title fights. So we'll see what comes. Yeah. Um, and then go from there. And before I let you go, do you want to shout out, um, manager? Just anyone? Or... Yeah, big shout out to my sponsors, my manager Kevin Marie, new trainer. Joe Gallagher. <laughs> and big shout out to you, Sam, for getting us on here. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you, mate. And uh, thank you for your time and keep working hard, mate. Thank you, mate. I love the shirt as well, pal. <laughs> yes, mate. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Bye, mate. Good man. Speak to you soon, mate.